only does he play every day. I mean, this guy's been one of the best hitters in the game for a decade, a leader of men. Rap. Nice diving play by Turner. Feeding Sale got the out. There's a swing and a drive. That one's up there, and that ball's gone. And in the biggest moments, he has always come through. After a successful year last year with the Boston Red Sox, Justin Turner, that deal is official. One-year deal, $13 million with the Toronto Blue Jays, and he joins us now. Justin, it's Brian Kenny. Congratulations. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, great to have you on here, Justin. Let me, uh, I'll, I'm going to start with this. Like, how do you uh, then like, finalize on Toronto? Obviously, the money you know, matters, but when you started learning about Toronto, how did you make that decision? Yeah, you know, Toronto was a team that was in on me a few years ago as well. So I already had uh, kind of established some dialogue with Ross Atkins. And, um, you know, when they came back in this year, getting to play against them, obviously, all year with the Red Sox, uh, knowing what they have over there. Um, and then the opportunity came up to to possibly be a landing spot. And, and I was excited about it. I was excited to join that lineup with a lot of um, – you know, young talent in there. The starting pitching is obviously fantastic. They got a great bullpen, so uh, it it feels like it's a good fit, and it's and it's going to be a lot of fun to to get with those guys and you know make a make a deep run in the playoffs. Hey, Justin, it's uh, Dan O'Dowd. Uh, congratulations. Toronto's a beautiful city. Since 2014, you've been one of the most consistent players in the game. When I think of you, I think of clutch, big moments. Even last year, you hit 338 with runners in scoring position. What do you attribute that to? Oh, man, I, I wish there was a, a magic pill or a secret sauce. But, um, you know, I think the biggest thing is just getting in those situations. Uh, one, make sure, making sure you're breathing and, and making sure, you know, you're slowing your heart rate down. And two is just not trying to do too much. Uh, you get guys out there in scoring position. I think everyone wants to make those Instagram swings and hit the three run homer or the grand slam instead of just simplifying it and making sure you get one run in. And, uh, you know, a lot of times if, if you focus on just driving the one run in, uh, then big things happen and you end up driving in two, three or four. So, uh, that's kind of the biggest thing and, 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 you know, controlling your emotions in those, in those situations. Justin, Ron Darling here again, congratulations. It's going to be a great fit. You know, one of the things I'm interested in is that if I'm signing Justin Turner, I know I'm getting a great bat, but I'm also getting someone that really has an idea on how to hit and is very good at communicating that to not only coaches or players around him. How does it work for you with the young players? Do you wait for them to come to you or will you sometimes start uh, the process? Yeah, hitting's, hitting's very tricky, right? Uh, it's something that you can't really force on guys um it's I, i've had the most success when guys come to me and and are inquisitive and asking questions and kind of making it their own idea i feel like if a lot of the times especially major league hitters we have a lot of pride in what we do and if someone walks up to you i don't care who they are or what they've done uh, they walk up to you and tell you you need to be doing this this and that <laughs> usually doesn't land well so um I spend a lot of time in the cage, uh, a lot of time around the cage talking, uh, not just about myself, but asking questions about other guys and, and what their feels are and, and what they're trying to accomplish. And uh, hopefully that that line of, you know, communication opens up a lot of doors to, to future conversations and, and helping guys out. Hey, JT, following up on that question, you've already been always been known like as a difference maker inside of a clubhouse, like you understand the value and importance of culture. How do you define what a great teammate is because you've been one for a long period of time? Yeah, I think uh, being a great teammate is, is kind of putting the people around you's interests ahead of your own. I think uh, a lot of times in this game and understandably uh, guys get caught up in themselves and their situations, whether that's, you know, just getting up to the major leagues and trying to stick or they're in their first year of arbitration and they want to have a big year so they can start earning, you know, money or they're heading into free agency. And we just get stuck in this cloud of uh, me, me, me. And I, I think, the way you become the best player you possibly can be is is by uh, caring more about the guys around you, and that takes a little bit of pressure off you as well. So uh, that's always my message to guys, and that's kind of how I go about it on a daily basis. And 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 you all gotta you also gotta understand like 
it doesn't matter what it says on the back of your baseball card or how many years you played. Uh, respect is something that's earned. You, you just don't get it when you walk in the door. So uh, something you got to work on every day and, and making sure you're doing the right things and you can't just talk about it. You have to you have to do it as well. Yeah. Well put, Justin. Uh, before we let you go, how much third base this year? Uh, I don't know. I'll be ready to play as much as I can. So uh, I'm here in the cage right now, actually about to get a hitting session in with, with Doug Lotta at the ball yard. And uh, I'll, I'll get some throwing in after and uh, maybe do some, some little agility work to uh, work on my, get my third base going. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I don't know what Schneid is going to have me do. I, I, I just want to be available for 162 games. And if he wants me to play third, first, second, wherever, um, I told him I'd stand out at short. I don't know how good I'd be, but I can go stand out there. So, uh, <laughs> but, you know, like Devers yeah. was there at third last year, right? So you weren't there that much. But the year before, right. you're a third baseman. You were handling it. I'm just wondering, like, that wasn't a conversation about where you're going to play? I mean, yeah, I, I think that they are still in the process of figuring everything out. I think that there's still a lot of really good players available in the free agent market um, that – they're not sure if, if a third baseman is in that conversation or not. <laughs> um, but like I told them, like, I'll, I'll, I'll be ready for whatever you need me to do. If it's go out playing third base, uh, that's great. I've done it. I can do that. I uh, played a lot of first base last year. If it's mainly a DH role, then um, it's a DH role. But uh, in the lineup is my favorite position. So um, <laughs> as, long, as long as I'm there, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, the shredder had you in the top 10, by the way, at third base. We ranked you at third base, and we had you in the, the top 10 right there, right? Right, so that's that's respect. Don't let Dan I get involved that. in that. Of, you did see that. We know Thank that you. means a lot to you there, Justin. Hey, don't, don't listen to Dan. Hey, he said he saw it, and he liked that. Yeah, that's why that's he's right. laughing right now. There you go. Congratulations on make the Shredders top ten. There, there you go. Justin, congratulations on going to the Blue Jays. We look forward to seeing you. And you notice he said, I'm working on my hitting. He, that's the first thing. The, uh, yeah, right, that's right. Always, always. You've got that. He knows. Thank you, Justin. All right, thanks, guys.